Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Wanted to show you my most recent painting and really take a closer look at it with you and point out a couple of things that if you're just scrolling through on Instagram and you see a small picture of a small painting, you might not necessarily pick up on. So I want this to be as close to seeing this painting in person as possible. So let me zoom in here. Just barely finishing this up. And as you saw in the images before, I start these paintings with colored pencil. And that means that all the way at the end, you can see these, these scratch marks here actually in the paint. And some of these colors are from the colored pencil itself. And then down in here, this is actually just taking a hard pencil and carving away the paint to reveal the ground underneath or the primer that the panel that I painted on is primed with, and that gives that illusion of feathers. And then, this is one of my favorite parts of this bird, the, uh, the, the feathers on the underbelly here, these downy fluffy feathers, those little lines there that you see are all pencil lines. So I'm using, I'm using pencil in the paint to create those different effects. And the foot is actually, that isn't paint at all. It's all colored pencil sort of outlined with some paint. And the reason, oh, and some really thick, splotchy palette knife strokes with very thick paint to indicate those feathers on his shoulder there. So the reason for all the texture variety is just to create a mystery in the surface. So if I had not explained that to you, you would not, you wouldn't necessarily know. And all those differences in textures for me are a way of portraying reality, portraying nature without over rendering it. So again, if you have any questions about this painting or my process, feel free to message me, comment. But uh, I think this is a little bit more of an in-depth look at how I'm creating these pieces. Take care.